Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to use the scoreboard to detect whenever a player has mined a certain block in Minecraft. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. Okay guys, so the first thing we need to do is go ahead and set up the scoreboard to detect whenever we mine a certain ore in Minecraft. So let's go ahead and type out scoreboard objectives add and we're going to add our new objective now. So the first thing we need to do is name our objective. So let's go ahead and name this diamonds mined. Next, we have to give it a criteria, and this is the most important part of this video. What we're going to do is type out Minecraft, and then we're going to put a period and type out mind, a colon, and then type out the name of the block, which is going to be Minecraft, period, diamond, or. Once we've done that, all we have left to do is add a display name, which is completely optional, but for the sake of the video, we're going to go ahead and add one called diamonds mind. And remember, this has to be in quotes because it's a string. Once we press enter, we now have our new objective and we're ready to display it. So let's go ahead and type out scoreboard objectives, set display, sidebar, and now the name of our objective, which is diamonds mined. Now that we have our objective showing on the sidebar, we're now able to mine the diamonds and see how it's tracking it. So let's go ahead and switch over to survival mode. I'm still getting used to that. I still want to type out a number instead of the name. And let's go ahead and mine these uh, diamonds here. So if I look at this block here and go ahead and mine it, you see that I now have uh, diamonds mined one for code zealot on the sidebar. And you may have also uh, noticed that I got two diamonds, uh, some bonus ore, and that's because I have a passive bonus as a dwarf on the RPG server here. That's all that is. So anyways, if I keep mining these, you'll see that I get more and more diamonds, and I also get the counter going up on the sidebar. Now, if you only want to detect whenever a player has mined the block and then execute another command, all you have to do is test for a score of one and then reset it back to zero after you run whatever that other command is. Otherwise, you can just go ahead and let it keep counting. I mean, there's a million different ways you can use this. You could use it to detect when a player has mined a certain amount of blocks, maybe for a quest where you have to go and uh, mine a certain amount of diamonds or a certain amount of coal ore. Or you could use it to detect whenever a player has uh, a certain score of diamond ore because you want to use that to give them access to maybe like a mining guild where only people who have mined a certain amount of diamonds are allowed in. There's all kinds of things you can do with this. Let me know what your guys' ideas are down in the comments below. And if you haven't yet joined the Discord server, please do. We have a Minecraft Command Help channel there where you can post all of your questions about anything related to Minecraft commands, but especially about this video here. And somebody will help you out there. I have many people in that uh, Discord server who are very command knowledgeable and are helping people at all times uh, in all different places. We have many people from different time zones, so that makes it very, very easy to get command help fast. So guys, if this video helped you out, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do and hit that bell icon so you can get a notification every time I upload a new video to this channel. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video where we're going to do another scoreboard command tutorial. And I'm going to teach you guys how to detect whenever a player has eaten any food item in Minecraft. I'll see you guys there.